Well, Jenny is here with some trending news this morning. And uh, Jenny, you always look for the good ones. What did yeah. you find today? Well, my dad's a Harley man, so mm. it looks like now my nephews can cruise alongside Ooh. with him. Harley Davidson, the motorcycle manufacturer, long known for its diehard fan base, is reaching out to a new demographic, kids. The company announced Aww. this week that it had acquired Stay, I think you say Stasic Incorporated, which produces electric bicycles that are designed specifically for children, and they're going to debut a new line. Uh, they will come in 12-inch and 16-inch models, and they're going to be available from the Harley dealers. And they can run anywhere from like 6000 to 40 Whoa. Or pardon oh. me, this is the big bikes. The kids' okay. ones will cost 700 so Gotcha. It's still oh, pretty okay. penny, but... They can get up and go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Uh, I know a lot of kids dream of the day they get their first car or bike, and it's going to happen earlier. Soon. Yeah. That's it. All right. I'm going to be riding one of those. <laughs> <laughs> your knees are going to be up to your nose there, yeah. I think. Scientists have found what could be a new kind of killer whale. These whales have been called, for the time being, type D. They look like killer mm. whales, but they have a different body shape, and they have more of a round head and smaller, narrowed white markings around their eyes. So they kind of just look like orcas. They were first seen in January, and the scientists are hoping to get DNA from them so that they can learn more about this new type of whale. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? Even at this point, they're discovering, I mean, yeah. something yeah. as species. big as this. Right. They must be in really, I guess, specific parts of the world or mm -hmm. really cold or something, but very cool. And then on to another really cool story here. There were some famous characters coming to life at St. Francis last week. They had their very own wax museum. <laughs> the fifth graders were required to read a biography on somebody that they were interested in, and then they came up with scripts. People had to purchase tickets, which then would activate the figures and make them come to life. Oh. And then all the money goes to Mayfair, which is the annual fundraiser. And when kids do a project like this, the the person that they research, they're never going to forget right. that person exactly. and yeah. the details of their life and all the research they did and the information they uh, learned. So that's a, that's a good way to uh, tap into history there. And I like all the different variety here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is awesome. a good mixture. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You can totally see their little personalities yeah. coming out in them. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Jenny. Appreciate it.